agile development is important, but please don't use Scrum. In today's video, I'm going to give you my take on agile development. Why agile? What is? What does that actually mean? Um, is Scrum the only way to do agile? Um, and my let's say four, main four beefs with with Scrum and why Scrum might be hard to realize in your situation or why it, it's maybe better to switch to something different. Okay, so Agile, what does Agile actually mean? Um, why would you do that? It's because it's a way to react to changes in, uh, in development it's reacting to it makes it easier to react to problems that you have during development and helps you um, helps you yeah tackle delays and not be not be bogged down by delays and so um, you have one thing that needs to be developed and th this is late and the next thing is late and the next thing is late and you do this over the whole year and then at the end of the year something falls off um, that might be very very important um, yeah it's a it's a way of of uh, getting transparency into development and um, being focusing on what is what is important if uh, if you're having problems of developing everything and yeah running into delays because things are harder than they seem it's absolutely usual um i think as a as a premise we all agree that a complete planning for the whole year uh, with every detail is completely completely ridiculous you basically cannot do that um make for instance in in january or usually in larger companies the planning is done beforehand so it's it's for for instance now it's uh now you'd already do the planning for 2019 because you need to get the budget for next year and so you do everything you do the planning and yeah this that's a bit of the problem with um with larger companies that you need to although you're doing agile you need to do planning beforehand but actually this is actually quite ridiculous to to think you can uh, make a plan for for 2019 and then you go through with it 100% this basically is not is not going to happen that's not going to happen I'm sorry, I have a bit of a cold. Um, so it's very important to be agile to, if you run into problems, um, let's say ditch something and not do one thing and focus then on something that is uh, very important to you or to the project. And a lot of people I'm, or, or a lot of times I'm hearing that Scrum, if you want to do Agile, do Scrum. Scrum is the only thing. Um, if you're doing uh, something and it doesn't work, you haven't implemented Scrum. And without Scrum, you're, you cannot do development, which is complete bullshit. That's absolutely not true. Um, there are other solutions that work great in my um in my experience, I have uh, some experience with OKR. We've developed with OKR uh, for a few years now. It's OKR is a is a great tool. I'm I think in my next video I'm going to talk a bit about OKR. Google has a great video about OKR, how it's implemented and what it is. I'm um, putting it down into the description of the video for you to hear. And you should check that out. Also, uh, by the way, if you're looking at this on uh, on YouTube, every episode, uh, you can listen to every episode and every previous episode of this podcast as a real podcast on Spotify and so on. It's called Plumbers of Data Science. Um, link to all the, all the sources is uh, 
is below. I have a, a podcast page on my website with all the all the stations. Um, okay, so Scrum is not the only way to do Agile. Um, why? What's my beef actually with Scrum? And yeah, Scrum is uh, Scrum for me. It's a way. In theory, that it all works great. It it works super with Scrum. But when you're when you're um, when you're looking into reality, yeah, then it gets it gets interesting. So my first beef with Scrum, or the first thing, is you need a ma- you need many people. It's not that you can do Scrum with two people. That is not going to work. You need a product owner who is basically the manager of of your product of your software. He decides what is important. He gets uh, input from. Um, let's call them stakeholders, uh, input from customers, input from, um, from product management, that from, uh, from actually the sales guys input in develop from development. If you're, if you're still developing, um, like if, if you're still developing and it hasn't been released and then if it has released, there are more and more people coming in and um, telling you telling the product owner what he uh, what should be developed then there's the scrum master Um, the scrum master is someone who is making sure that scrum is working and he's trying to help the development team to get rid of problems they are running into Uh, scrum master and product owner are not uh, within the development team so you already have two people and then you need a development team and people say you need at least three to be honest you need you need even more because people are on holiday people are sick um it's with with three people it's getting yeah this is i i think this will not work you large companies with a uh, like microsoft or or big companies uh like BMW, they have huge development departments with hundreds of people working in it, and it, it makes sense because they have they have large dev teams. Um, but for for a startup or a a small small uh, product development team, it's hard to realize that <clears throat> it, it o- almost makes no sense. Then the problem is. The, another problem is that the, the product owner sets the goals. Product owner sets the goals for the development team, and so the the product, uh, so the, the the development team gets a bit um, disconnected from actually uh, how they are paying into the whole strategy, what uh, how they are helping the the actual. Um, the actual product development they they are because they're they're not monkeys who are who are typing in uh, all uh, coding shakespeare shakespeare's uh, shakespeare's books um the people want to have a want to have a clear view how am i how is the work i'm doing related to the whole thing and how is it working uh, how is it helping the company and if you think you can break down into tasks and just do uh, get the tasks to people, I have had that uh, at the time when I'm when I was doing um, SAP development. Um, yeah, that's it's not fun, and it's it, it very quickly gets to the point where you don't see the point in. Why is that done? Because the, you don't have an overview of over the whole thing. Uh, although Agile does uh, create transparency, hmm. does it? Okay. So what what the product owner does? Everything that every uh, request, every demand from the sales guys or someone else gets into a product backlog. 
and that product backlog then fills up with with tasks with things to be oh my glasses are crooked um with things that need to be developed and now in theory the development team starts starts developing and is reducing the backlog basically to zero so th that's the theory the the back the the um development team is going at it and reducing the backlog so everything will be done which is not going to happen and the the other thing is that let's say you have a you have a backlog with a few items that are easy to do and they're fun to do and that you have a backlog with a few items that are hard to do and the and i know it sounds ridiculous but it, it's it's actually the case um the nature of people is they are going for the easy tasks they are certain high high time consuming difficult tasks in the backlog will not be done they will they will um they will be planned at the end of every of every sprint or they they will be planned but because everything else is delayed these things will fall down at the end get planned in the next one uh, and so on and so on so certain items will never be done which is ridiculous because certain items can be super important but they are either never done or done very very late and you cannot blame them um it's it's human nature yeah the idea is basically in a sprint you have the backlog and these items will will be will be um closed in a sprint so a sprint is is basically the main the main thing in in uh, scrum a sprint you plan a sprint and the sprint has certain backlog items in it a sprint takes um it can take a week or two weeks and so here comes here comes basically my main my main problem with it um the optimal sprint is the premise of a sprint is that development can focus on what it's doing in the sprint and it um it's totally independent from from everyone else so in a in a in a perfect world a developer goes into a sprint he has certain backlog items to to do in a sprint and he just code is doing coding and codes everything down and when the sprint is finished everything is finished and he is totally reliant on himself and all is good in reality however this is not going to work this is this is not how the world works um, first of all um, most of the tasks there you're not working independent as a developer uh, especially in smaller teams you're you're depending here and there on others and if you're in a in a large company and you have um, you have interfaces with different uh, departments you always need to need to wait on someone else so it's not that you can start with something and finish it completely over a a whole develop over a development cycle then the other thing is that it's not like you start with something and you program or you you you, you start with a backlog item and you do the backlog item and then you're finished and we start you just start with the next backlog item usually someone has is doing multiple um multiple things at the same time and so you're doing a bit of task one then a bit of task two and then you're waiting on task one and 
so you have you have multiple things to do then somebody came is coming to you and he needs help and you're going off you're you're doing something else um because yeah usually the teams are not that big and it's it's not a perf perfect world where you can just 100 percent focus on development there comes this and that and then your basically your sprint is messed up yeah so they cannot they just cannot focus a hundred percent on each backlog item and do it in, in in a serialized manner this is this is not how the world works and it's absolutely not um, that everybody is independent from each other and you don't have to wait uh, to uh, for someone else this is not going to work and so with all these factors um, that you have a lot of people uh, you need a lot of people that is hard to to get actually the the development team invested into the into the project um, it's not that easy that backlog items that hard backlog items are complicated are, are going to be created and then the whole thing with the sprints is not that it's not that optimal and it's in my opinion no if if i if i have the choice between scrum and something else and for instance okr i'm not going to do scrum it's ridiculous to think that everything is is that scrum is the how is that called silver or golden bullet it's the tool that 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 scrum equals agile forget about this forget about this yeah okay so tomorrow i'm going to prepare something on okr and so you can have you can see the difference i would say um if you want to have some more information about um scrum um you don't need to go that deep um i found the wikipedia article quite interesting uh interestingly the german version is better than the english version which tells a lot um because germans like uh like rules and doing stuff m methodically and yeah so <laughs> it tells a lot that this, that the german wikipedia page is better than the english one which does not really happen that much often so maybe it's a thir it's a German thing. I don't know. Okay, that's it for today. It's a quick one, but I think this will help you a lot. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, yeah, hit the like button. Hit the like button, and uh, because only with the like button we can work the algorithms and put this into more of uh, in front of more people and yeah if you're not subscribed subscribe and then we'll hopefully meet tomorrow i'm planning to do this every day but uh, my schedule always gets messed up but i promise i will do this i i'm uh, i will do this more often i have a bit more time right now okay see you hopefully tomorrow bye bye